Hi hey guys, got another rogue removal video here for you. This one's called Internet Security. First off, I want to thank Malwarebytes Forum for the sample, because without those guys, I can't make these videos for you. Now this one's a pretty straightforward one to remove. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much blocking everything. You're getting the nag box boxes popping up on the screen here. You can't use Task Manager. Internet Explorer doesn't work, or Firefox, as you can see. Just shuts them straight down. Also, Command Prompt and all those other ones do not work from here. They will be closed down. Same as RegEdit and all those other ones. I'll just quickly show you there. So you can see you get loads of little boxes popping up. I want you to activate. So once you activate, you'll get a key. Now, as you can see here, um, let me just quickly get rid of this box. As you can see here, posts up loads of fake scans as usual this is what the, they generally do to scare people to into purchasing it well I can't see a way of purchasing it because it doesn't let you get on the internet it just completely blocks you out um, there is a product key here that you can put in which I'll post on the screen now there's one of two product keys and also I'll post the information there so you can actually put that in and remove it now the best way to remove these is in safe mobile networking and I will put the instructions on the screen now if that doesn't work for you and you can remove it from safe mobile networking so once you've uh, got into safe mobile networking this doesn't run in safe mode with networking so it's very easy to remove now you will get little squeaky noises when this is uh, popping up these boxes uh, they've left the 2012 out on these okay can't click on the help and support there that just doesn't work shuts down now, there's numerous ways of getting rid of these as I said we're going to look at the icon on the screen here as you can see internet security if I right click on this and go properties it tells you it's in program data okay so we know that's where it lives let's have a look at that it's in the C drive here and this is where program data is if you can't see that you will need to go to organize file search options then view and then show hidden files and folders and drives okay and I always take the tick out of hide extensions and you will see that folder and that's the culprit there so it's isecurity.exe that's the file and there will be some temp uh, files in the temp directory and I'll show you where that is now it's in app data then in local and inside temp here there'll be some files inside here as well which you need to remove okay now there's a couple of ways of going about it as I said you can either rename these files Let's just go back here you can rename this file inside here if you wanted to or you can actually use a task kill inside so we're going to come down to run here and we're going to type in there taskkill.exe like so and then you want to put a space in there and then forward slash f then space forward slash im then space and then isecurity.exe like so and then what you need to do then is click enter or return and that will kill the process that is the easiest way to kill it from there and as you can see it's let us have all our computer back because the process is now killed so let's go to the start or the all button computer C drive program data and you'll see the file inside here and I can just get rid of this now and that's now gone and also what I would do is go back to the temp folder app data local then the temp and I would just remove everything inside here now you could run cleaners or stuff like that Malwarebytes is a real good tool you want to always update first once that's updated run a quick scan
I'm going to quickly run that. And also, what you want to do, I'm going to delete that shortcut. What you want to do after you've run this is run TDSS Killer in case any um, rootkits have been dropped on the system with this. Now sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's always best to run other scans to make sure you're fully cleaned, okay? Because you may not just have this rogue on the system. So as you can see, it's just clearing up some of the files. And uh, while that's going on, I'll quickly run TDSS Killer. I'll just drop that down there. And we'll quickly run a scan on this. Just to make sure there's no rootkits. Now there may not be none on here, but you may well have some. So do scan, okay? And I would advise you to do an online scan with say ESET or something like that. Just to make sure the system is fully cleaned. Just type ESET online scan, click on the link, and then run an online scan. You will need to download a little plugin. I'm going to run that and close these off. We can finish this off now. Agree to the terms conditions, click start, and say yes to that, and this will download the actual plugin and you can look in the advanced settings there if you wanted to and configure this the way you want to do I mean, I'm just going to uh, put a tick in there and push scan okay so I'll leave this uh, running for a second click OK here I'm going to show the results here and as you can see these are in the recycle bin because I did delete the actual files so I shall remove those anyway okay and what I suggest you do is let this download the actual definitions and uh, run a full scan with this program and make sure your systems up and running okay so I think that's going to be about it for this video I do try to make these videos a little bit more uh, different than some of the other videos I don't want to make the same repetitive video um, and show you how to remove it easily because sometimes it does get a bit boring so just remember not everyone is the same skill level as yourselves and that there is people out there that do need help in removing these types of things so even though you may think it's easy some people won't so just bear that in mind so thanks again for watching guys my name is Brian from briotech.co.uk thanks for your support bye for now